Hey everybody, how are you? I hope you're doing great. Today, this design is going to be um, a wearable, something that you can wear and it's going to be that the alligator hat. And it's a classic one for uh, balloon twisting, you know, to make the alligator hat. So this is what I think. Look at the pictures I found on Google. And from there, I was thinking, okay, let's do this. And I don't want to forget, I'm gonna dedicate it to Thomas. Thank you, Thomas, for the request, because. I know you always uh, <laughs> ask me, you know, for interesting design. So why not to try this? Because it's not hard. And the good thing about the design I'm going to show you, it's that you can um, avoid details or even add more details if you want. Okay. So this is what I made. This is uh, an idea of an alligator hat. Of course, this is a tail, but you can make it much longer if you want. Um, I just have a mistake somewhere here, so they might lose some balloon, uh, but this can be longer. Um, so this is the design. It's kind of like a basic way, fast. Yeah, you can make it at parties while you're talking and showing because this is what I thought about an alligator hat. And you know, the good thing is people can wear it and it can be funny, you know, for pictures. Um, this is the design. So let's do that. Let's do that. You can always uh, accommodate things, but I think it's a very cute way, you know, to make a hat. It's comfortable. Uh, kids will love it, you know, and I'm not sure if adults, <laughs> but let's do that. The good thing is you can always measure, you know, the kid's head or the person that is going to wear the hat. And if it feels like it's getting tight, you can always stretch, pull this, and it's going to become bigger and more comfortable, especially for adults. And make sure if somebody is wearing a ponytail, you can um, make sure the ponytail it's hiding somewhere um, or you know accommodate the ponytail because sometimes that is hard you don't know that someone is wearing a ponytail and you're just trying to put the hat on <laughs> and it's gonna be a, a mess it can be a problem there you have to remember that people wear ponytails like me right now okay so let's do this you will need approximately four or five balloons okay it's not that super uh simple like just one balloon design but I think it's cool. Um, you will need first two balloons, 260, uh, one green and one yellow. I like the idea of yellow for the bottom because that is kind of representing for me the bottom of the alligator. And it can be golden road, it can be any other color. Even if, for example, this is dark green, this can be light green instead of yellow. So you play with the colors. The idea is that one on top, it's better if it's darker color, than that one on the bottom so let's start there and there's many different ways to start but this is how i decide to start let's see what happens because i want to make sure i have a balloon that it's inflated five or six finger tail you're going to make a lot of loops so uh i mean bubbles so you're going to start making like two or three finger loop twist lock then you can make a one finger bubble pinch twist now, you're gonna measure approximately six finger long or even eight, okay? Because that is what is gonna measure the front of the, you know, someone's head, okay? Then you're gonna, um, this is, well, don't make it too tight, okay? That's what I think I recommend you, uh, don't make it too tight. Or let's see what happens if we have leftovers of the yellow band. Now, I decide to start from the top part and there's so many different ways how to start. So I decide to start from here and then go like this. Um, so if you want to start from here and then go up, that could be another choice. And it's gonna work, I'm sure. But I'm doing it this way because that's the first time I made it, so let's do that. Now, let's make another two finger loop. One finger bubble, pinch this. So you have this. You're gonna grab now your yellow balloon, inflate it, like six, eight finger tail, attach it to this piece where you just finish, and then you're gonna go and take it all the way back to here, all the way back, Shoot. the same size, yep, okay, when you are here, make sure everything is tied on and good things, okay, now you are gonna just to uh, make what we call as the, you're gonna have something like this, so you're gonna make a waving. You're gonna start making a waving. So let me see, you can see all the bubbles. So from here, you're gonna start a waving. How? You're gonna make a one finger bubble and then 
you will make another one finger bubble here now one the yellow bubble goes to the other side and each time you're gonna go try to make a shoulder so if this is one like eight finger long the one now that we're making the next line is gonna be six finger long or seven right so now twist a couple times and then make sure now that green is the one that's gonna go right here so let's make sure the same size six or seven finger long and now you have to roll it so the green is gonna roll look at my thumb and it's gonna be rolling and the intention of that is that um no wait this bubble came i'm sorry i finished this okay so the intention of that is that you want to uh, have all the green bubbles in one side and all the yellow bubbles to the other side so now let's do this again one finger bubble another one finger bubble past the yellow instead of six finger long or seven now you're gonna make a shoulder like five so you have to be it's getting smaller and smaller you twist it a couple times and then you're gonna measure the same size and push and roll and if in your case this time it's like this you gotta push and roll one more time until you find it that it's in the same spot that you want green one side yellow one side now we're gonna make another one finger bubble then another one finger bubble and let's keep going now uh i know that says i'm just getting a smaller so this one is gonna be like four or five finger long so you have to measure and just go smaller now this one is four or five finger long now this is a problem uh i'm noticed that i'm getting a smaller with my uh, balloon green to 60. So if that happened to you, you know, it's okay. You can always add another balloon, okay? So in my case, I'm making this smaller, so I think I'm gonna need another balloon green in order to finish it. But let me see how long is this. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. So I just need one more, but it's already too small. And I have to sometimes be realistic, right? You have to understand the balloon is getting tighter. So that's what I'm gonna lose here. And maybe you can save here from here, just one little small bubble, one finger bubble. And then you just tie a new balloon. This is another balloon, 260 um, green. Tighter. And shoot, bottom, bottom, bum, bum. So then you're gonna have this that you can cut it in a moment, the excess, but you just have a one finger long, here two, one finger long, and this is gonna be the last one. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So this is gonna be the last one, so just make it a smaller, like now two or three finger long. Twist it around, shoot, and make sure now this part I forget is something, yeah. I'm sorry guys. So you make the one finger here. We just start here. You're gonna start with a two finger bubble pinch twist, okay? Then you're gonna go to the other one finger bubble and close it with a three finger bubble, twist it. And now make sure, pinch twist, three finger bubble. With the green, you're gonna make another three finger bubble pinch twist to put it here. So three finger bubble or two, maybe it's the same size, pinch twist. And then this green, that's it, you don't need it anymore, but actually save it because we're gonna use it for the rest of the balloon. And then from here, you just make three finger bubble, twist and pop. You don't need this anymore, so save it in your balloon scrap. Tight, shoot, pass it around. Now you can cut the excess of the other balloons. You have something like this. Now with this, cut. Don't get rid of this because we're gonna use it in a moment, you will see. And shoot. So this is a weighting, and this type of weighting, I made it, so this is how everything is gonna be looking. I made it uh, before for, for example, the pizza. When you want a pizza balloon, the only difference is we have here these loops with a pinch twist, okay? Okay, so we have this. 
Now, from here, for example, what I was thinking, um, we can make with the leftovers, okay? We're gonna make something, um, and this is kind of like, remember I told you, kind of leave these bubbles, one of these ones, leave it soft, because this is what you can do. For example, this one is soft and squishable, you're gonna split it in half, okay? And in a moment, you're gonna see, we're gonna grab a five inch round, so we have this in the half, you just split it in half. You have a five inch round, you're gonna inflate it very uh, small because you're just gonna make eyeballs. So you just inflate it very small, like three, uh, look, four, but no more. Okay, soft and squishable, tied it and split it in half for the eyeballs. Okay, so you split it in half, pass this around, and then you have all this nozzle. You go down to here. Look, you pass it through there and then lock it here. Look, you're gonna just lock it here, pass it around. Okay, so you have something like this. Now, the cool thing about this way is nobody's gonna notice this. This is gonna be in the front, nobody's gonna see it much. It's there. Okay, now from here, we have this is the leftovers of the last part that we did here with the green. And you can grab it and make, let me, let me see. You're gonna need to do, <clears throat> let's see if it's gonna have enough. Now, see, I'm trying to see. You're gonna make like a six finger loop. Mm, loop, like this. Another six finger loop, or five. Then you're gonna make a pinch twist, okay? And um, you can also, the thing is I'm trying to see how to make this balloon, you know, without less, this design without less balloons. But the thing is I'm always kind of like complicating myself. I, I, I know you know that. <laughs> so you avoid the details that you think is not necessary. But from here, I just make it this bubble and probably attach it here. And then I'm gonna have all this left over or I can just leave it here and how to connect it with this. Maybe just grabbing the eyeballs and twisting it. Let's see. Okay. So this is, can be another way. Look at this. Look at this. It can give you a good, you know, expression. And then the rest, and that's why my tail is super small. Look. That's what the, the tail, because there's not really much space. But then we have an, a second balloon, and it's supposed to be the last one. But the idea is with this, you have enough balloon to attach it to the pinch twist here. And then you just can pass it around these loops. You can pass it all, all the way through, I mean, these loops, creating like a you're creating like a loop there but let me see i'm trying to look so then you just go you know inside the loops that you made so it connects things better um so then you just go until you close it and you like how it looks so then you close it and then you still have balloon to from here go all the way around and that's when you measure you know the person heads look it's too big you can make it shorter as you find the size so approximately because i think my head is like that normal regular size this long is gonna be one two three four five six seven seven times four twenty eight like 30 finger longs no more it's gonna be good enough to feel comfortable, no tight for an adult head, okay? So, and then from here, we have this leftover that it can be, and this is the thing, you see, it doesn't have a, like a happy ending, thinking that, hmm, all this, you can take it out, save it, maybe it can be the, the tail in a moment. But I'm sure, with watching this video, you are seeing like, oh, Cecilia, I know, I can make it better. And that's something really good about watching other people twist balloons you can see what is better. All these, for example, accommodate it in the back, squish, stretch, make a bubble, 
and attach it right here in the middle. Find the middle of this big loop and twist it. And now that can be a connection for whatever you want it to be the tail. Now, the tail, I just have this, it's very short. Let's see how long it is. Look, you can just leave that because we can pretend all that can be part of the tail and only this piece. Or you can grab another balloon, it's up to you. The thing is, for people it's not that comfortable to be um, having a long balloon, you know, and walk around. So you don't want maybe the tail that too long. So maybe this is not that bad. Something like a shape like this, and then attach it to here. And again, it's just an idea because sometimes you want designs that are faster and works, you know, fast. So this is a representation of a cool way to make an alligator hat. Now wear it, it's comfortable. It's, it's really cool. I think um, I was Sharpie time. Oh, wait, do you think, why not? It kind of looks like an alligator hat, but why not to add some um, teeth? And I'm using 160. If you don't have 160, go ahead and make it with 260 white. It's just gonna be little bubbles. So you just attach it to this part and start making very small bubbles. As many as you can from one, side you know the cheeks all the way to this pinch twist the green pinch twist so then you just like for example in my case i made one two three four five six now six bubbles little ones and then here two little bubbles like i make four see and pass it and then one two three four five and six and go back to the other pinch twist so there we go. This is something, you know, like an, an, a little detail, but I think it's gonna help your design to look better. You see, it happens the teeth, like it's smiling. <laughs> it's like, it's like showing the teeth, but while the mouth is closed. That's what I wanted to represent. And you can attach it right under the connection, this line. And this can also, if you see yellow and you want to be perfection, you can say, well, those are gums. <laughs> those are the gums of the alligator. And now, you can make also this even longer. Of course, you can make it longer. That's going to be cool. But I'm making it this way. You can make it much longer. It's going to look probably better. I just also think about how comfortable and practical you can make a design because Trust me, it's something longer. I don't know for how long someone is going to be willing to have it. And I think this is our cute size. Uh, tell me in the comments what you think. Yeah, and if you make it longer, have fun. I'm, I'm sure it's going to be cool. This is just kind of a basic idea. I like, you see, this loops makes the design more like happy. I don't know. Um, what else you can do here? Uh, another good thing is make sure um, you can play with this pinch twist, you know, put it like this way to make it look like it's more grumpy. <laughs> You know the pinch twist like this uh what are i think you can always avoid this you don't have to do it if you're in a hurry you just make the bubbles and that's it the the five inch round connected to the middle and that's it you don't have to make all this but i think this little thing help you the to be looks more elaborated okay uh that's that's what i think um oh sharpie so for sharpie time you just make like the letter u that's what i think looks cool for i or something like that, and then you just color inside. Okay, I think that's a really cool way to make eyeballs for animals. You can make it bigger, but that's the idea. Like this, and then color it inside. Mm -hmm. Okay, I hope if this is useful for you, Thomas. Um, then another thing is this. Pinch twist can represent also um, what is if you put it like this up, it can represent the nostril. So you can just make like a number six, for example, here. Look like this, and this can be the nostrils, and just leave it there. And ta -da -da -da, this is the, the alligator hat. Awesome! Thank you so much for watching the video again. I'm trying to make it with less balloons as possible. And with, when you're in a moment, this is a good thing. You can practice to make this design, but then you will notice and with all balloon designs, most of them, you know, it doesn't matter. You can start from anywhere. You can start from here, you, or you can start all the way 
from the middle or you're gonna start with the end so it's up to you the idea is that you kind of have an idea what people is talking about like if it's an alligator hat so you think about how to make it you know fit in someone's head and it's comfortable uh if you uh, someone says you know a, a alligator head that can fit in any body because <laughs> that's what i understood so this you know you know you forget about all this and then from here you just start making the rest of the body you know legs and stuff like that but you can always add more of course from here for example you can start making some legs hanging and then and just here you create a connection and make back legs and it can be cool more elaborated you want to see what i'm talking about and let's see because this is also about experimenting and to show you so we just grab more balloons to Later, like approximately four six finger tail you will need another one because it's front legs and back legs so the same idea four or five finger four or five finger tail and then how to make easy simple right like you can make two or three finger bubble two or three finger bubble twist together and then uh two finger bubble pinch twist that's gonna be one side then you make two or three finger bubble and then make few bubble pinch twist and then make sure like approximately you want it like here look so you just attach it to those that connection now you just have all this if you want to save time you can also pass it around you know so then that way you save time instead of cutting and tidying and then you with the rest you make sure you will have enough balloon to do the same thing we did here Three finger bubble, pinch twist, finger bubble, and then film and film. If you think you're not gonna have enough balloon, sometimes it's safer to don't pop the balloon, the bubbles. So look how it's looking so far, so you have an idea. <laughs> you see, it's a detail, it's a you know, but it's gonna look funny, right? Don't you think? Now the back legs, you're gonna do the same, so it's like Two or three finger bubble, two or three finger bubble, twist it together, lock, two finger bubble, pinch twist. Okay, then you're gonna go up with three finger bubble, two finger bubble, pinch twist. So you have this basic simple. Okay, then you're gonna measure just three finger long and you're gonna create a connection. Now, this is what I'm thinking with create a connection. You can put it all the way in the back, but I think if you put it here, it's gonna look better. That's, I don't know, my idea. So you just gonna, you know you're gonna put it there, so you just pinch and pass this around. So it's gonna be there, the connection. See, you just pinch the balloon, pinch and pass the new one around. Now, you can always think more clear. If you put a, a pinch twist there, you can. You can always put a pinch twist. To say uh, to make it more stable or you don't have to and just leave it like that it's fine okay so now you just make a loop like this but it's smaller maybe because you know the alligator have that shape that it goes so you can make this loop smaller slightly smaller and then measure the same idea to the other side measure kind of the same size pinch and pass this around the long balloon new one and then twist and then make them the same idea. Two finger bubble, two finger bubble, pinch twist, finger bubble. So I'm making again the legs. And then loop here and finish with a two finger bubble, pinch twist. So those are gonna be the idea of back legs. And again, you can just make it as simple as possible or add more details, it's up to you. It's up to what do you think to be funny? Okay, now you have this, look how it's looking, and you have this spot to attach it to your head. So let's try it. Now I have to tell you, uh, it's kind of like making the design a little bit uh, harder to wear, but it's you tell me how it looks because I cannot really see myself much. So this is the idea. It has here the tail. It has a design, 
if you like it. <laughs> I hope you like it. I'm gonna put my, my chair lower so maybe it's gonna be better. I hope you like it. Um don't forget like, comment, subscribe, make it better, have fun. Thank you all for watching the video. I think uh it's comfortable because I made it big, you know, enough the loop. Um, so I think it's a really cute one, don't you think? <laughs> I hope you like it. I hope you uh you can make it and if you do it don't forget to tag me um on instagram uh, my instagram at alpaca global balloons you can always share with me you know the designs that you're learning you can just tag me and do pictures i will be happy to to uh to give it a, a, a like no it's a heart right the heart on instagram awesome have a wonderful day ciao ciao